Happy Monday, loves. Good evening. Good evening, Facebook, the Affinity Lounge. Good evening, Instagram. Good evening, YouTube. Welcome to our seventh session of our March Manifest Challenge, where we began a couple weeks ago. If this is your first time watching, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Danny LaBerry. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a happiness transformation coach, and I teach ambitious women effective tools to build confidence and feel worthy again, whether post-breakup, single, or in a relationship. Now, if you heard me say the March Manifest Challenge earlier and you're you're not sure what I'm talking about tonight's session is part of a series called the March manifest challenge where I'll be going live three times a week until the end of the, this month discussing actionable topics on how to wa manage waves of intense challenging feelings how to be able to navigate conflict expressing your emotions better getting clear on and establishing boundaries and improving communication and relationships we subconsciously break ourselves down, limit the ability to trust ourselves or feel confident in ourselves through self-betrayal. And self-betrayal can look like saying yes when we meant to say no or not speaking our truth. It can look like going along with things outside of us for the sake of agreeing or not rocking the boat. It can look like not standing up for ourselves. It can look like breaking promises that we made to ourselves. Oh, mom is on Instagram. Hi, mom. I wonder if I can like your comment. Let me see. There we go. Nice. So this is what our March Manifest Challenge is all about. Um, let's see here. So starting a couple Mondays ago, I wonder if I can see the comments in the Affinity Lounge. Let me see here. Oh, it's not showing me. Oh, yeah, it is. There we go. Mom is in the Facebook group. Nice. Awesome. So that's what Ma March Manifest Challenge is all about. A couple Mondays ago, we made a promise to do one simple thing, one simple action every day for the remainder of March. And how this came about is I was thinking about Lent. And usually with Lent, the idea is that you give something up. And rather than giving something up, I realized that much of the chaos and disappointment in our lives actually comes from our failure to take action so that got me thinking so what if we actually added one thing every day that we could do consistently that would really move the needle in our life really improving the quality of our life whether that could be making a gratitude list every morning or you know what is it for you moving your body every morning or drinking a half gallon of water it is not too late to join us i know that it seems like it is because it is march 21st however we do have 10 days left of the month so this could be a really good opportunity for you to promise to yourself to do one thing for the next 10 days do it consistently so along with our March Manifest Challenge, I'm also offering a free self-care assessment for you to download to support you in getting grounded with what area of your life that you may want to improve. So one being I do this poorly, three being I do this well, you'll see that the self-care assessment tool is broken down into different areas. Physical self-care, psychological and men, excuse me, physical self-care, psychological and emotional self-care, social self-care, spiritual self-care, and professional self-care. So once you complete it, you can get clear on which area of your life you want to commit to doing one thing consistently for the next 10 days. So let's jump on into tonight's session, what am I missing? Sometimes we may feel like we're missing something. It can seem like everyone has it together. It can feel like if you're looking at relationships or you're looking at other couples, it can kind of feel like, well, what's wrong with me? What am I missing? Some of us have been in unhealthy relationships in the past and maybe we'll think, am I crazy or maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm expecting too much or what if my standards are too high? We'll wonder why we end up in the same types of relationships or attract the same kinds of situations or the same kind of partners, not realizing that it could be because we have this idea in our head, oh, it's chemistry, it's chemistry, I have chemistry. Meanwhile, if it, this is speaking to an unhealthy relationship or a toxic dynamic, a relationship or a dynamic that you notice is not serving you. You're finding that there are stressful moments, man, and maybe even instances where you're feeling very insecure about yourself and you're finding yourself very confused. You have no way to really ground yourself or a baseline, right? So sometimes we'll confuse this idea for chemistry or what feels familiar 
with actually unresolved trauma or unresolved hurt. So instead of learning how to comfort ourselves with healthier coping skills, we'll continue to turn to return and over and over again to old or familiar or comfortable habits and patterns that don't serve us. And what I mean by don't serve us, meaning, for example, old partners or former partners, drinking or sex, comfort eating or buying things. So if you recall a few March Manifest challenges, challenge sessions back, I spoke about naming your thought. Let me see, where is it? Naming this, right? Naming your thought bubble. So naming this. So if you recall, when we had this about naming it, if you name it, spoke about naming this in your head, I spoke a little bit about the different ways that we think irrationally. Sometimes our irrational thinking and thoughts can feel really real. And what do you know? It eventually starts to create our reality around us. So my work as a licensed psychotherapist and a happiness transformation coach is to support you with my evidence-based frameworks towards effectively shifting these thoughts. And as an outcome of you shifting your thoughts, you begin to improve the relationship with yourself. When and as you're improving the relationship with yourself, eventually you begin to respect yourself, you begin to value yourself because it's becoming a relationship with yourself. You begin to choose wisely who you allow into your space and doing that long enough and consistent, consistently enough, eventually you'll realize that the people you're surrounding yourself with are now in alignment with your best self. So even though you, you notice, so even the thought of, am I missing something? What am I missing? What's wrong with me? How am I going to find that? You know, if you go down, if you think about this, these are still thoughts. They're still thoughts at the end of the day. So what we do to cope with these thoughts, what do we do? What are we doing to cope? Are we going towards drinking? Are we going towards another, jumping from one relationship to another? Are we going towards shopping as a way to kind of fill in those feelings? So notice that, what are you doing to cope with those feelings? And what we do to cope with hard feelings, for example, like sadness, loneliness, anxiety, or stress, uh, we want to begin a practice of experiencing that feeling with ourselves, trying out different activities or exercises to do to help us move through those feelings or those emotions. So rather than saying something that I want to tell you about or that I teach my clients is that I look at emotions as energy in motion, okay? So if you thought about, for example, feeling anxious, what does that feel like? Feeling anxious can feel like my stomach is tight, my palms are sweaty, my heart is racing. What does excitement feel like? My palms are sweaty, my stomach is tight, my heart is racing, right? So you can see how it is energy in motion. And rather than saying, I'm lonely, I'm anxious, we can move and shift towards, I am feeling lonely, I am feeling anxious, because you are not lonely, you are not loneliness. You are not anxiety, you are feeling it. And even once we get into enough practice of separating ourselves from the emotion, I'll even go into towards I am experiencing. Because every moment is an experience. So rather than saying I am lonely or I am anxious, I am feeling or I am experiencing loneliness right now. I am experiencing feelings of anxiety right now. So it is an experience. And the more and more space that you put behind yourself and between yourself and the emotion, it allows you a little bit of time to work on shifting your thoughts, okay? So perhaps you've already downloaded my self-care assessment tool and maybe you're interested in working with me. I offer a complimentary 30-minute discovery call where we talk about where you are, where you'd like to be, and if we're a fit. If you'd like to schedule that call, go to dannyleberry.com slash connect. If you're watching this video on Facebook or on YouTube, the link will be in the caption of this video. If you're watching on Instagram, the link is in my bio. So if you found value to our session tonight, please share this with a health and well-being bestie of yours. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe. And be sure to join me tomorrow evening as we continue to move along our third week 
here of our March Manifest Challenge. I will be on tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, and that's 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Thank you so much again for joining me in tonight's March Manifest Challenge. Again, my name is Danny LaBerry. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a happiness transformation coach, and I will see you tomorrow evening.